Navigating interpersonal relationships requires a foundation of respect, understanding, and equity. For men, this involves being mindful of behaviors that can perpetuate gender stereotypes, disrespect, or inequality. Here are seven key things men should avoid doing when interacting with women to foster more positive and egalitarian relationships. Number one, objectify or patronize them. Objectification and patronization are two behaviors that significantly undermine the dignity and autonomy of women. When men objectify women, they reduce them to mere physical appearances or treat them as objects of desire rather than as whole, complex human beings. This behavior strips away the recognition of women's individuality, capabilities, and intrinsic worth. It perpetuates a culture that values women primarily for their looks, which can lead to a host of negative consequences, including diminished self-esteem, body image issues, and the perpetuation of gender inequality. By seeing women through a narrow lens of physical attributes, men ignore the diverse contributions women make in various aspects of life, from professional achievements to personal insights and creativity. Patronizing behavior is equally harmful. When men speak to women in a condescending manner or assume they need extra help simply because of their gender, it sends a message that women are less competent or capable. This type of interaction undermines women's confidence and can discourage them from pursuing their goals and ambitions. Patronization often manifests in seemingly small, everyday interactions, such as interrupting women in conversations, explaining things they already know, often referred to as mansplaining, or making decisions on their behalf without their input. These actions collectively contribute to a broader culture of sexism that marginalizes women's voices and experiences. Respecting women as individuals means recognizing and valuing their thoughts, feelings, and capabilities. It involves listening actively, engaging in conversations as equals, and acknowledging their contributions without diminishing them. When men approach interactions with women from a place of genuine respect and equality, it fosters healthier, more balanced relationships. This shift in behavior not only benefits women, but also enriches men's lives by broadening their perspectives and deepening their connections with others. Respect is a fundamental component of any healthy relationship, and it begins with the recognition of each person's inherent worth and dignity. The impacts of objectification and patronization extend beyond individual interactions. On a societal level, these behaviors reinforce harmful stereotypes and perpetuate systemic gender inequality. When women are consistently seen and treated as less competent or valued primarily for their appearance, it affects their opportunities for advancement in various fields, from the workplace to academia. This systemic bias can lead to unequal pay, limited career progression, and reduced representation in leadership roles. Addressing and changing these behaviors is crucial for creating a more equitable society where everyone, regardless of gender, has the opportunity to thrive and succeed. One way men can challenge objectification and patronization is by reflecting on their own behaviors and attitudes. This involves being mindful of how they speak to and about women, questioning their assumptions, and seeking to understand women's experiences and perspectives. Education and awareness are key components in this process. Men can benefit from learning about gender issues, listening to women's stories, and engaging in conversations about equality and respect. By becoming more informed and self-aware, men can actively contribute to a culture that values and uplifts women. Number two, interrupt or speak over them. Interrupting or speaking over women during conversations is a pervasive issue that undermines their ability to fully participate and be acknowledged in discussions.
This behavior not only silences women's voices, but also conveys a subtle yet damaging message that their opinions and contributions are less important. When women are consistently interrupted, it diminishes their confidence and discourages them from sharing their thoughts and ideas. This dynamic can perpetuate a cycle where women's perspectives are underrepresented and undervalued, both in professional and personal contexts. Active listening is a crucial skill for fostering respectful and inclusive conversations. It involves giving full attention to the speaker, refraining from interrupting and showing genuine interest in what they have to say. For men, Practicing active listening with women means consciously making space for their voices and allowing them to express their thoughts fully before responding. This not only demonstrates respect, but also validates the speaker's contributions. When women feel heard and respected, it encourages more open and meaningful communication, leading to richer and more diverse discussions. Encouraging equal participation in conversations is essential for balanced communication. This involves being aware of how often and in what ways men dominate discussions and taking steps to ensure that women have an equal opportunity to speak. For example, in meetings or group discussions, men can make a conscious effort to invite women to share their views and ensure they are given the floor without interruption. This creates a more equitable environment where all voices are valued and considered. By actively promoting equal participation, men can help dismantle the cultural norms that often silence women and elevate male voices. Being mindful of conversational habits is a critical aspect of respectful interaction. Men should reflect on their tendencies to interrupt or speak over women and consider how these behaviors affect the dynamics of their interactions. It may be helpful to observe conversations and note instances where women are cut off or not given the chance to complete their thoughts. Acknowledging and addressing these patterns can lead to more respectful and productive communication. Additionally, men can practice patience and restraint, allowing for natural pauses and resisting the urge to dominate the conversation. Creating spaces where women feel heard and valued requires intentional effort and commitment. Men can foster such environments by setting clear expectations for respectful communication and modeling these behaviors themselves. This might involve establishing ground rules for meetings, such as no interruptions and equal speaking time for all participants. In social settings, men can ensure that conversations are inclusive and that women are not sidelined or talked over. By consistently prioritizing respect and inclusivity, men can contribute to a culture that values women's voices and perspectives. Number three. Assume traditional gender roles. Assuming traditional gender roles is a practice that can have far-reaching negative consequences for both women and society at large. When men presume that women should handle domestic tasks or be the primary caregivers, they reinforce outdated stereotypes that limit women's opportunities and potential. These stereotypes are rooted in historical norms that assign specific roles to men and women, often positioning women in subordinate, caregiving roles while men assume the role of breadwinners. Such assumptions not only restrict women's personal and professional growth, but also perpetuate a cycle of inequality that is difficult to break. In many households, traditional gender roles mean that women bear the brunt of domestic responsibilities, from cooking and cleaning to child care. This unequal distribution of labor can be exhausting and overwhelming, leaving women with less time and energy to pursue their own careers, hobbies, and personal development. It also sends a damaging message to children about gender roles, potentially perpetuating these stereotypes in future generations. When men take an active and equitable role in household tasks and caregiving, it helps to dismantle these ingrained norms and promote a more balanced and fair dynamic. 
Striving for equitable partnerships involves sharing responsibilities based on mutual agreement and individual capabilities rather than adhering to gender-based expectations. This approach not only alleviates the burden on women, but also allows men to engage more fully in family life. Men who take on caregiving roles and domestic tasks often find these experiences rewarding and fulfilling. Moreover, equitable partnerships foster a sense of teamwork and mutual respect, strengthening the relationship and providing a model of equality for children. This balance helps both partners pursue their goals and aspirations without being hindered by rigid gender roles. Challenging traditional gender roles requires a conscious effort to question and change ingrained behaviors and attitudes. Men can start by reflecting on their own assumptions and behaviors regarding gender roles and actively working to share responsibilities at home. This might include taking on tasks that are traditionally seen as women's work, such as cooking, cleaning, or caring for children. By doing so, men demonstrate that these tasks are not inherently linked to gender and can be competently handled by anyone. Additionally, men can support their partner's careers and personal goals by sharing or taking over household duties, thereby providing the time and space for their partners to succeed. Flexibility in roles allows both partners to thrive and contribute equally to household and family dynamics. In modern relationships, it's important to move beyond rigid definitions of what men and women should do and instead focus on what works best for each individual and the family unit as a whole. Number four, make unwanted advances. Unwanted advances, whether verbal or physical, represent a significant breach of personal boundaries and respect. These advances can manifest in various ways, from inappropriate comments and suggestive remarks to unwelcome physical contact. When men make such advances, they create an environment where women feel unsafe and disrespected. This behavior not only undermines women's autonomy, but also perpetuates a culture of fear and discomfort. It is crucial for men to understand the importance of consent and the impact of their actions on women's sense of security and well-being. Consent is a fundamental aspect of any respectful and healthy interaction. Men should always seek clear, enthusiastic consent before initiating any romantic or physical interaction. Consent is not just about the absence of a no, but the presence of a confident and willing yes. It is an ongoing process that requires continuous communication and mutual agreement. By prioritizing consent, men demonstrate respect for women's autonomy and boundaries. This approach fosters a culture where individuals feel empowered to express their comfort levels and make informed decisions about their bodies and interactions. Respecting personal space is another critical component of maintaining respectful and consensual interactions. Men should be mindful of women's personal boundaries and avoid behaviors that encroach on their space without invitation. This includes being attentive to nonverbal cues such as body language, facial expressions, and overall demeanor. Women may use these cues to communicate discomfort or a desire to distance themselves from unwanted advances. Recognizing and respecting these signals is essential for creating a safe and respectful environment. Men must understand that pushing boundaries or ignoring these cues is a form of disrespect and can lead to feelings of violation and distress. Persistence in the face of rejection is a common yet problematic behavior that many men exhibit. Contrary to some societal narratives that frame persistence as romantic or flattering, continuing to pursue someone after they have expressed disinterest is a form of harassment. It disregards the other person's feelings and boundaries and can lead to an increasingly uncomfortable and hostile situation. Men should respect a woman's right to say no and accept rejection gracefully. Understanding that no means no and that persistence is inappropriate is fundamental to respecting women's autonomy and agency. 
Creating a culture of consent and respect is vital for ensuring that all individuals feel safe and valued. This involves more than just individual actions. It requires a collective effort to promote and uphold respectful behaviors and attitudes. Men can contribute to this culture by educating themselves and others about the principles of consent and respectful interaction. They can challenge harmful behaviors and speak out against harassment when they witness it. By being proactive and advocating for respect and consent, men help to build an environment where everyone's boundaries are honored and their dignity is preserved. Number 5. Downplay Their Achievements Minimizing or dismissing women's achievements is a subtle yet pervasive form of discrimination that undermines their hard work and contributions. This behavior can manifest in various ways, from attributing women's successes to external factors like luck or assistance, to outright ignoring or belittling their accomplishments. Such actions send a message that women's efforts are less valuable or significant compared to their male counterparts. This not only impacts women's self-esteem and motivation, but also perpetuates a culture of inequality where their contributions are consistently undervalued and overlooked. Acknowledging and celebrating women's successes is crucial in fostering an environment of recognition and equality. Men can play a significant role in this by ensuring that women's achievements are recognized and applauded. This involves giving credit where it's due, whether in professional settings like the workplace or in personal contexts such as family and social circles. Celebrating women's accomplishments publicly and sincerely helps to reinforce their value and encourages further contributions. It also sets a positive example for others, promoting a culture where everyone's efforts are appreciated and rewarded. When men recognize and support women's accomplishments, it helps to break down barriers and challenge biases that often diminish women's roles and contributions in various fields. For instance, in professional environments, women frequently face challenges related to recognition and advancement, often being overlooked for promotions or significant projects. By actively acknowledging and advocating for women's achievements, men can help to create a more equitable workplace where talent and effort are the primary criteria for recognition rather than gender. This can lead to a more diverse and inclusive environment where women feel empowered to reach their full potential. Valuing women's achievements also promotes a more inclusive and supportive culture overall. When women see their contributions being valued and celebrated, it fosters a sense of belonging and encourages them to continue striving for excellence. This inclusive culture benefits everyone, as it leverages the diverse talents and perspectives that women bring to the table. Moreover, a supportive environment where achievements are recognized regardless of gender helps to attract and retain top talent, leading to better outcomes for organizations and communities. Number 6. Make Assumptions About Their Preferences Making assumptions about women's preferences based on gender stereotypes is a limiting and disrespectful practice that fails to acknowledge the individuality of each person. When men assume that all women share the same interests or preferences, they reduce women to a set of generic, stereotypical characteristics. This can lead to misunderstandings and missed opportunities for genuine connection. For example, assuming that all women enjoy shopping or dislike sports can result in interactions that feel superficial and unfulfilling. Such assumptions also reinforce outdated gender norms, perpetuating the idea that women are a monolithic group defined by narrow, gender-based interests. To foster more genuine and meaningful relationships, men should take the time to get to know individuals and respect their unique preferences. This involves asking questions, listening actively, and being open to discovering what each person truly enjoys and values.
By engaging in conversations that explore individual interests and experiences, men can build deeper, more authentic connections. This approach not only enriches personal relationships, but also demonstrates a commitment to seeing and valuing women as multifaceted individuals. Recognizing the diversity among women's interests and talents allows for a more inclusive and respectful dynamic, free from the constraints of stereotypes. Appreciating that women, like men, have a wide range of interests, skills, and desires is crucial for creating an environment of mutual respect and understanding. It is important to approach each person without preconceived notions and to remain open to the wide variety of ways women may express themselves and their passions. This perspective encourages a more egalitarian view of gender, where people are not limited by societal expectations but are free to explore and pursue what truly matters to them. By valuing this diversity, men can contribute to a more inclusive culture that celebrates individual differences and fosters genuine respect and appreciation for each person's unique contributions and interests. Number seven, ignore issues of inequality. Ignoring or dismissing issues of gender inequality and discrimination perpetuates the very systems that uphold these injustices. When men remain silent or indifferent to the challenges women face, they become complicit in maintaining the status quo. This passive acceptance allows discriminatory practices and unequal opportunities to continue unchallenged, making it harder for women to achieve equality. Acknowledging and addressing these issues is crucial for creating a fairer and more just society. Men must recognize their responsibility in this regard and take proactive steps to confront and dismantle the structures that perpetuate gender inequality. Actively engaging in conversations about gender equality is an essential first step. Men should educate themselves on the various forms of gender discrimination and understand how these issues impact women's lives both personally and professionally. This involves listening to women's experiences, reading relevant literature, and staying informed about ongoing gender equity initiatives. By participating in these discussions, men can better understand the complexities of gender inequality and become more effective allies. They can use their platforms to amplify women's voices, share insights, and contribute to raising awareness about the need for systemic change. Supporting efforts to address systemic issues involves more than just talking about gender equality. It requires concrete actions. Men should advocate for equal opportunities in their workplaces and communities, challenge discriminatory practices when they see them, and support policies that promote fairness and equity.